Hallelujah. So I'm to give a round of applause to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that was the scripture I wanted to start off with. Thank you. You took a lead. God bless you all. Uh, shall we all just rise up to our feet? So as, uh, as Shirley all already said, it's the first uh, Sunday of December. And like I always say, the, uh, uh, the Christmas is in the air. It's chilly. So uh, we feel the Christmas. But before we go to a worship, I just want to, uh, since uh, Shirley gave uh, the start with the word, just want to uh, uh, tell all of you that Christmas is a time of giving and forgiving. So, shall we not dwell in the past that, you know, we lived a whole 12 months? Maybe there were times that we fell short. There were times that we got hurt. Shall we just forget it and forgive someone today? It's giving and forgiving. So let's not, you know, often we, we tend to uh, uh, live in the past and dwell in the past. So let's not do that. Let's be focused in the future. You know, I often wondered sometimes why is, a, is, the, is the, uh, the, the rear rear mirror of a car too small and the windscreen too, too large? You know, because what you see behind is not so important as you, what you see in front. That is why you have the windscreen, a larger windscreen and a very small back mirror. So let's not dwell in the past let's forgive everyone let's not live in bitterness because this is the season to be happy season to be joy because our savior is 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 born in december a month like this isn't it shall we all just be joyful today because god created us not only uh, in his image but he gives us seasons where we need to adapt and take our lives to the next level amen so let's not be in one place. God has, like I always say, his plan for you is glory to glory, not just glory. Amen. Victory to victory. So shall we just uh, bear that in our minds and uh, let's start this worship with a little spirit of Christmas. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Like the uh, shepherd's wind to the mountains and the hills and the plains and say that Jesus Christ was born. Today, you and I, of course, we don't have mountains and hills in Colombo, but surely we can go out and say, a Christ is born. Jesus, the Savior is born. Now, can we do that, everyone? Yeah? Come on now. Let's be more enthusiastic here. Come on. Let's give a round of applause to the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what I like to hear, Sharon. That's what I like to hear. Woo! Let's be joyful. Go. That Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the mountain. That Jesus Christ is born. Once again now. Go 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 tell it on the mountain. Go tell it on the
families together, worshiping God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
Shining on the cloud, shining like the sun. And the prophet Paul lived your walk and hear him to believe. salvation and f- forgiveness for the abundant love of our Father. Greater love than you have overcome the grave. 
sin, Satan and his agents who's running around in this world. Shall we just agree today that the blood has done when Jesus said it is done. I apply the blood of Jesus to every stubborn problem in my life. Today, Father, hallelujah. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my body from the top of my head to the sole of my feet today, Father. Just proclaim it upon yourself and upon your children and upon your families and upon your businesses today. Lord, I soak my life in the blood of the Lamb today. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Lord, I hold the blood of Jesus as the shield against me, Lord. Any power that is already poisonous is me, Lord. blood of Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus, I stand against every device of destruction. Lord, every sickness that the enemy has brought over us, Lord, and our families, Lord. Lord, this morning, I raise up a standard in the blood of the Lamb which you have done already on the Mount of Calvary, Lord, 2,000 years ago, Father. And we just want to proclaim it upon our lives, Lord. you 